Good morning from Camigan Island, Southern Philippines, November 23rd. Looks like we got some tide going out this morning in Lady Kaboom. Jerry's already down here. I was hoping to get a picture of all of it. It's only plucked a little bit out. A lot of it's still upstream. This was twice as full yesterday, but he couldn't get to it. He's has other duties too here. So anyway, good morning, Jerry. Say hello to the world. Looks like we've got a couple sacks that might be a problem there, huh? Anyway, this is uh, about a week's worth. Like I said, you see that there, and there's even more up in town. But this canal stays pretty clean. We need to keep, keep this one looking good, because that's the governor's house right there, and he has lots of people driving by. And we need to get this one clean probably every few days, now that we got help. We're going to be installing the airport kaboom, hopefully. That's why I got my bicycle trailer on. i got to go find more tires. So. Take a look at some of the other trash down here. Come and they rinse their garbage trucks here. I'm hoping maybe I can talk them into bringing some concrete back and pour a little slab underneath our single stream recycling so and replace that tarp it's probably not going to last long it's blowing around but so anyway i'm on a tire hunt today and this is my setup that i use when i'm waiting for parts on my car i got some diodes ordered and i got a diode back somewhere one or the two is going to come pretty quick fix the alternator i'll be back in business but yeah see we got a lot of customers here that are just kind of like in waiting a nice good heavy rain and flush it out this is like the gut of town here it's not too bad now sometimes it smells pretty bad but this comes right from the central market and there's a lot of people living near this canal several little tributaries and little holes and drainage things that pop into this one so it's usually a pretty good performer here well, anyway i'll just quick update on Lady Kaboom here. She's doing fine. We don't have to do nothing for her. She's got the full-length weighted coral skirt. She's been sitting right there pretty. The UV protector panels on top have been staying put. And uh, this is one of our better performers. Continuing our cleanup on Lady Kaboom, same day. This one here is very mucky. It's like black water. There's little oil slicks in it there too. So probably from the Carinderia kitchens. I think they just dump their oils in the canal. I don't think there's much regulation on that. We've got a couple big sacks we're going to have to get the hook on. That's the ones that bother me, the people that actually dump the sacks of trash in here. And this is the nastiest one to clean up. I really feel bad. It would be much easier. All the bottles are, like, coated. You know, they're not nice. They're, like, gooey, gooey, extra gooey all over. Get it on your gloves, and it's, like, oil slick on your gloves you can't hardly pull your gloves off so so yeah there's a lot of ideas out there on extractions we're going to try and keep it simple i want it where we can employ people either the basket or that big omicron round boat type thing might work drop it in there and throw all the trash in but we can't get a boat up this one here that gets too narrow at the end by the sandbar and king kaboom possibly could certain tides but then that's not always conducive to cleaning the boom out so we still got some ideas. Conveyor belts out of the question. Let's take the labor part off the employees. I need to keep them employed and help stimulate the economy here a little bit too. But we'll figure out something. I got my big throw net. I made one kind of like the fishermen that they have and throw it out over. It catches all the fish. It's got weights all the way around. But it's going to take two men to try that one. I made it really big and heavy. So Jerry and I are going to give it a try on the Coke Canal. It's next clean out. See what happens. Just keep trying different things. And we'll be back. 
around checking on Jerry, see how he's doing. He's got 90% of it out. Wasn't too big of a crop this time, was it? We still got those sacks to get out of there. He's still sitting nice and high. We're not, we haven't got any leaks or nothing. We got a lot of it. Oh, the nasty work again. Sorting through this, pulling the bottles out. I got some biodegradable yellow bags that work pretty good for the plastic bottles and stuff. The problem is you leave those out in the sun for a week and they just fall apart. So, But I think now we got the garbage pickup solved. So. Looks like you bought got it ripped there. We got it looking good now. We got a couple of big sacks to get out of there. Get a lot of big debris sometimes floating through here. Not as much as the king kaboom, but enough to be a problem. So. What a nice black soup this is, huh? Little oil sheen on top. Yeah, it's a third world country, so got a ways to go to get things cleaned up. As long as we can keep this out of the ocean, and the ocean cleanup's got a little less to corral up there over the next 10 years, as predicted, I think it was. So we're doing the best we can help them right here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And there's a description, there's places you can donate if you want to help Terry and I and Bobby. Thanks so much.